Hello and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today we're gonna to be making you. We are making you, so congrats, you're being made. We're gonna start off by naming this model and your name. My name is Adrian, so there it is. Now, I started off with uh, creatures and characters, which totally describes a lot of the students in my classroom. They're both creatures and characters. You wanna go here creatures and characters. Now, when I first started out, this was was what I found in Tinkercad. Not very exciting, I mean, pretty basic, but kind of cute. Now, since then, they've added characters like this. And <clears throat> recently, I found these, which are fairly interesting. And of course, you can modify them, but I want you to see something very interesting here. The hair, it's just a bunch of spheres, right? And look at the shapes of each of these. They are cylinders, half a sphere for uh, these two characters, and then cylinders. And then what kind of shape is that? Maybe half a sphere as well? Now for these two characters, we have, they look like just cylinders that are really small, hands that are cylinders. This is a cone, looks like, that they just put together. Of course, spheres with, again, you can, let's go, let's, let's show you exactly, if you've never used this before, how you can manipulate this to make it look like a finger if you really had to. So I just clicked and drag, right? Now, I'm, it kind of looks like a finger already. I'm going to hit shift, hold shift, and then move that down. Now, already you can see this is finger-like. Of course, it's way bigger, but the idea is the same. See? Finger. That it came from a sphere. Now, for a lot of you, what you're going to care most about when you're making this is the hair. Because the hair really says who you are. Really, it's the only part of your body you can really control and change at will. So, what kind of hair do you want? Whoa. It's Now, all I did was add a sphere. That's all I did here. And I'm going to try to make it the same size as this guy's head. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to move it up a little bit. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys to move this back. Now, you've seen some people have their head like that? Yeah, and that's that's okay. Let's not judge people. I mean, you can judge them, just don't do it out loud, please. All right, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. Uh, wow. So there you go. Kind of a weird head thing going on here. Now, the other thing is you can technically just keep moving that up till there's more hair there. See? Just a little bit of movement changes it. And if you don't like the hairline, perhaps you could just move it back a little bit. See? So you can adjust it to make it what you want to do. Perhaps you like the long hair that's over here. Look at the long hair over here with this young lady. You could combine long hair. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to copy this, move it. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to, oops, copy and paste. There it is. I'm going to give this young lady, I, I'm assuming it's a girl, my... I'm just telling you right now what my assumptions are. There they are. And there you go. Now, this person has long hair and a bandana and very nice. Now, perhaps you don't like the dress. Well, you could just change a uh, half a sphere and two cylinders to change the pants. I don't know. Maybe you want long hair over here. Let's see if we can copy that. Maybe, maybe this one's blonde. And I'm just gonna move this up. Oh, this one's upside down. I'm trying to figure out how they did it over here while I'm doing this thing. All right, that's kind of weird, but sure. And I'm gonna move it with the arrow key. And I'm gonna rotate by clicking and dragging this over here. Now I'm gonna move it up a little bit. I'm gonna smush it, make it thinner. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure if the technical term is smush, but that's what I'm doing here. And you know what? Whoa, I didn't realize it was sticking out so far. I'm gonna copy this hair over here, copy paste, and then move it over here. Hit the shift, I'm gonna hit the shift so it stays in one location there. And I'm gonna change that to blonde so it matches. And for those of you that are my students, I would like you to create your own character. You can modify one that exists already, or 
you can create one from scratch and make them look like you. When you're done, please send me a link or put it in the Google form. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I've hoped you like this short video. Shout out to HL Mod Tech. He's the one that I saw with the hair. He did an example with the hair. Really, really thought that was interesting. And again, you can get into more <clears throat> design features by adding shoes. People tend to like the shoes, of course, not that big. And uh, maybe some gloves. I'm not sure about the weapons. <coughs> but you can modify these things. And of course, try to make them look like you. Have a good day.